This is Nicolas Samor. She's a Puerto Rican writer from New York who has had a very long career writing books, many of them about children who perhaps would not have found a place in a novel before because they were poor urban people, mostly from another culture. They were Puerto Ricans and there were few people among them who had the opportunity to write. Nicolasa is a New Yorker, but she's also Puerto Rican. Her writing is very much about growing up in New York and that transplanting of Puerto Rican culture into an urban setting of New York and uh, negotiating every day that culture there, keeping some things and giving up others. So Nilda starts like this, July 1941. Summers in New York City's barrio were unbearable. Even when there was a cool spell, it seemed a long time before the dry, fresh air could find a way past the concrete and asphalt into the crowded buildings which had become blazing furnaces. As Nilda played outside, she could smell the heat mingled with the odors coming from the tenements and sidewalks. Tiny beads of moisture settled in her nostrils, making it hard to breathe. This is a wonderful portrait by Antonio Martorell, who is a Puerto Rican artist and was a collaborator with Nicolas Amor. And this is a portrait that came up as part of their friendship and collaboration. It's a portrait that really conveys her personality. It completely aligns with her style of writing and with who she is. This portrait is part of a series that the artist made in 45 minutes, you know, and it has almost like a snapshot effect. It's very quickly made, it has very abstract areas, but you can definitely see the person in there. Her face, for example, is very sculptural. He achieves that effect through small brush strokes that define her cheekbones, her smile, her nose, her eyes. Everything smiles in her face, really. You see, you see it in her eyes and you see it in her smile. As you go down the portrait, it becomes more and more abstract, really. She has this wonderful red blouse, which matches her red hair, <laughs> um, with a skyline. And at the bottom of it, it says New York, which really grounds the portrait and the figure of Nicolasa to the place where she was born. There's that dark shadow on her side, that dark outline that could well be a compositional device from the artist trying to really, really construct in the space. But you can also read it as the darkness in her literature because even though there's a general theme of uplift, there are some very difficult subjects that are approached from domestic abuse to economic hardship and growing up in the midst of it. And we love portraits that speak to that relationship of collaboration. There's this wonderful complicity that you see between the subject, between Nicolasa and the artist, Martorell. You can almost feel the friendship in there, really.